What's up, trendsetter gang gang? I'm going to have to pull this up. I think I'm about to do this now. Let me do this now because I'm getting tired of looking at it. I'm getting tired of looking at this. Mm -mm, I cannot do this anymore. Anymore. I'm going to do this in front of y'all so I know y'all because I know I, I know y'all talk about me. Okay, let's see if I can bring it up. Alright, let's see how that looks. Can I bring it up? Let me see. I'm going to have to bring it up a little bit. It's just kind of hard to know how to do these things. Oh, try to set everything up. I probably should have got a wider fabric. That's what I'm gonna have. To, I think I'm gonna have to go to Hobby Lobby and actually get a longer, wider fabric. Let's see. Okay, that's the best I can do. Okay, that look a little better. Okay. <laughs> I did this for y'all. Okay. I fixed it a little bit. It ain't a hundred percent, but I'm gonna have to get a longer fabric. But um what I wanted to talk about today, um Today is Tuesday. This is Motivational Mondays. I didn't get a chance to film film a video yesterday. But I just wanted to um I just wanted to talk about being intentional about life, about what how you're moving and what you're doing. Um I always knew about being intentional, but I don't think I really understood it um in its intensity. Um, until I got, maybe until now, cause I think, I feel like I always known it, but I know what the word meant, but it's like intentional how, like some people talk about intentional dating, be intentional about the people in your life. Even if, you know, even if it's family member, you have to be intentional of, about what you accept in your life and what you don't accept. Um, as far as behavior, bad behavior from others, um, we've all done it. We've all um, accepted um, certain people and their behavior, and which has enabled them. Um, and when you get ready to to disband from it, then people want to know what's going on. But you actually you should have already done away with it. Um, being intentional about conversation. I think I'm more intentional now about the people in my life. I'm more intentional about our discussions and what I want to discuss. I don't want to spend time with quality people in my life gossiping about somebody. Um, we have productive conversations which are intentional um, or they're fun. They're uplifting. It's about, you know, Improving. I, I got this thing now. I want to be around people that are um, 
positive, that are encouraging me to be positive and act on a different level. And I'm doing the same for them. It's never one-sided. It's always things that we can all bring to each other's life. Um, I'm intentional about, you know, just like you're intentional about putting your makeup on and what clothes you want to wear and your hair. You have to be intentional about relationships, dating, um, intentional about conversations that you're having, um, intentional about behavior, um, intentional about people in your life, um, intentional about goals and dreams. And that's why you do the vision board. That's why I told y'all I'm going to do a, in, uh, a vision board, um, like a party and everybody can get their boards. I don't know what day, but I'm going to let you know what day, um, we're going to do it, but I'm going to give you guys a few days to go out and get a board and we're going to actually do it together. I actually want to do a poster board and then get a um, cork board, like a bulletin board where you just stick the little pins. Cause I heard the cork board is better cause you can pull it down and put something up, which I think, but then I think I like the idea of cementing on a poster board, what it is, even if it changes, I can change it as I go or whatever. Um, so I'm just going to do that and, um, you know, maybe I can come up with some ways that we can be, um, intentional. Um, oh, I could do that now, actually. Um, we can be intentional in our lives by, like I said, the people, um, you can be intentional about conversations that you're going to have. You know what I'm saying? Like. Some people are intentional about not cursing, and that's up to you. I'm, I can, you know, I'm, I'm a little free with that. I, I, I'm a cursor, and not for nothing. I don't. Um, somebody asked me or told me that I um, asked me if I um, you, is cursing a defense, a defense mechanism or something like that, and I'm like, no, it's not a defense mechanism. It's just something that I grew up around. If you got a if you got a, a mother of color, a black mother, <laughs> you probably heard it a couple times, maybe more, several times <laughs> um, in your life. Um, let me just I, I tell you what. Let me do this because I think this works better. Let me say what I'm intentional about. I am intentional about um quality people in my life. I don't need a whole bunch of people. I just need quality people. If it's, if that's one or two, I'm good. I don't need 10 or 15 people and they're not quality. And quality people is people that are positive, people that are uplifting, people that can have um, uplifting conversations with you. Um, you know, like I had a friend to tell me um, not too long ago that I was actually... Um, she was like, you need to do this. You know, um, there there was a guy that um, I used to date um, and he kind of came, I kind of, we kind of reconnected. I, well, I don't want to say reconnected. I kind of found them somehow. And, um, or maybe they found me because they popped up in my um, messenger. But she let me know she said you're you know this is what you're doing when you're dating and she said you need to not do that because that's you're putting up a wall and she said it with love she didn't you you know that's why i say you can say a lot of valid things to, to me or to people but you have to know how to say it and how to deliver it i feel like delivery is 90 is 90 percent of just you know distributing information if you don't know how to tell it to me if you don't know how to talk to me you can say you don't need to do that if you're talking to me like that you ain't gonna get nothing and i guess you know people have to learn that you we're two different individuals and we have different views but you have to come at me as a friend when you're yelling and being disrespectful you're no longer a friend. That's not how a friend operates and acts. Um, so, 
I, you know, that's what I'm into. I, I, I like uh, quality conversations. I, I'm not into gossip because I don't care nothing about that. Um, it starts a lot of trouble, and it's like he say, she say, and I'm the type of person. I ain't, I've ain't. i never really been a gossiping person. If I said something about somebody, it was, you know, facts, and I probably said it to them, and I will say it. I just, I'm not a person that, um... I'm not a person that needs to talk about nobody to make myself look good. If I have ever said anything about somebody, it was facts, true facts. I don't I don't like to lie on people because I don't want nobody lying on me. But, I mean, people still do. Um, I just try to treat people the way I want to be treated. But I do not... Um, I deal with quality people with quality, you know, positive attitudes that that are uplifting, that are positive, that are not downing me. If I'm if something good has happened with me, they are cheerleading for me. If something good happens for them, I'm cheerleading for them. There's no jealousy. I'm not a jealous person, contrary to popular belief. I have never been a jealous person. I have always been that girl that what God what God got for me. I want what he got for me. I don't want nothing that you got with your name on it. Because I know what he got for me is for Landis, Vanny's Turner, and it ain't for nobody else. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I just, you know, I'm, I'm not that girl. I think um, people want you to be certain something and they try to put labels on you. But I've, I've been a very, for, for the most part in my life, I'm a very confident person. Um, I don't really tolerate, you know, people saying, oh, you know, she's jealous. I've never been, I don't have a jealous bone in my body. People have spent their life trying to make me jealous and I'm just not, I'm not going to budge because things and materials don't make your life good. It don't make you happy. I know a lot of people that have material things and they're not happy i i mean i've had material things and i still do and i'm it doesn't take away problems in your life how many know that a new car if a new car took away my problems i would have got 10 of them <laughs> or maybe a million um a hairdo doesn't do it a drink doesn't do it a guy doesn't do it sex doesn't do it you know what i'm saying it just doesn't so um I just try to be intentional in that way with my conversations with the people in my life. Um, with, with um, I don't know. I'm very intentional now. Even with my time, I'm very intentional. You know, if I let you in, you got a certain amount of time. I know when I'm on the phone, I, I have a certain amount of time that I'm going to talk, um, say what I'm going to say, and then I get off. Um, I think we should be intentional about personal development, doing better. A lot of people talk about growing and changing, but th that's intentional. That doesn't happen naturally. You don't just grow. You don't just grow. You know, you don't just change and, and grow. You have to intentionally, you know, take seminars, read books. Um, get you mentors to help you move in a better direction. Success is intentional. If you're going to build a business, you need to build a business. If you're not building a business that you say you were going to build, you're not being intentional, which means five, ten more years will go by, and you're still going to be wherever you've been. It's, it, and for those that know about building a business, it takes years to build a business. So if you said you want to build a business, you definitely need to get on it. They said the average to, you know, get your business up and running and moving how you want is like 10 years. So if you got an idea, you got to jump on it. It'll never be the right time. Just get on it. Do it. Like they say, make like Nike and just do it. Um, I'm, more, I'm more intentional about what I eat, my eating habits. Um, you know, we all, we all get off and I have, and we all cheat. Um, I, well, I cheat. 
I have, but my cheats are intentional cheats. So I get so many days to cheat. Um, when I get off, I know that I'm off and I do what I have to do. Um, I hold myself to standards. I don't need anybody else to hold me to a standard because I hold myself to a standard. That's just what I do. Um, Oh, I'm intentional about who I date, and that's why I'm single, because um, I'm intentional about getting to know myself more, and just, you know, I just recently got out of a situation where I put other people's um, agendas before mine, and I'm no longer doing that, so I'm very intentional about what I'm doing for me. I'm very intentional about, um, I did say my eating habits. I'm already, um, I'm very intentional. Um, you know, like I said, I'm being single until I find that right one about not, about not settling. And I'll do a video on not settling, but I'm very intentional about not settling. Um, and we live in a culture where they teach you to settle and I just, I'm not gonna, settle for anybody just to, just to warm up my bed just to say I got one I've, I've dated a lot to know exactly what I want and I don't um if I can't have exactly what I want if I can't have what I want um because nobody's going to be a hundred percent but if I cannot have what I want um that's reasonable I will not um I'm not going to settle because I'm a whole person I love me, I enjoy me, and I do things, uh, you know, people like, you gotta, you know, sing life is the boring life, you know, it can get a little hectic, but it's nothing that, it's not, it's doable. Um, I just fall in love with things that I love. I put a lot of energy into my, my business and other businesses that I'm building. I put a lot of energy into my lifestyle and you know um a focused um and focus on my a focused lifestyle a focused um you know way of being and growing and developing um myself um i like to read books i like wine i do things i i kind of i date myself and learn myself and discover more about me and work on me so when god sends me that that guy, I'll be ready for him. Um, if he doesn't send me that guy, I think I'll be fine. I don't know if anybody that's ever died from not being in a relationship. I mean, really. Um, so it's doable. Um, it's not, you know, everybody says it's wrong. If you don't got a man, something wrong with you. It's nothing wrong with you. And you don't have to settle for something that you know we know deep down in our in our, our in our beings that especially women we know when guys are not marriage material we know when they're not good for us but well you know at least I got a man if that's how you feel then that's that what what's the scripture say um so what as a man thinking so is he if you feel like you don't have no other options and you don't feel like waiting. That's that's how you feel, and that's how you perceive it. So when you get in a when you're in a relationship and it's it's wearing on you, it's all about your your thoughts and what you believe and what you feel and how you acting on them thoughts. And we act on our thoughts and beliefs. And if you feel like you you um not gonna be able to find anybody and you don't want to settle in fear of not finding anybody um i mean you want to settle because you're afraid that you will not find anybody then that's on you <laughs> i believe that god has somebody special for me and i also believe that if god does not have anybody that i will be fine i will continue to do what i'm doing now that is breathing and that is living and that is doing the things and enjoying people in my my life that i love living a full life 
Like I said, nobody's died from not being in a relationship. And I just feel like in society, they just teach us to just deal and settle with stuff. And I think we it's a lot of women that have a low self-esteem. I'm just one of many, um, one out of a million. I'm just not going to settle. And that's my choice. You know, some women say, I'm going to settle, girl. I need to have somebody. I can't be by myself. Well, how if that's how you think about yourself, that's how, well, that's what you got. How you think. You know, how a man think if so is he. You know, if you think, you know, you got a low self-esteem. If you feel like you just going to deal with anything because you, you don't want to be by yourself. But in the time that you're by yourself, that is the time that you need to grab your individuality and get to know who you are as a person so that you will be um, any good. And you will be a, a whole person by yourself, but you will be a... Uh, uh, individual in your in a relationship you know even in a marriage you still have to be your own individual as well y'all come together but you're still two individuals you have to maintain a certain level of individuality even in a marriage and have a life you know what i'm saying so that's how i feel about it um i don't think i'm better than anybody i just i'm just not gonna settle I'm just not. Now, everybody said, you know, can't do that. And praise God. But I can. I am doing it. So, um, I heard a, a girl on YouTube say she's been single for 10 years. I think I've been single for like, I think it's been going on seven. I'm talking about straight. Um, I'm just like having a blast, getting to know myself and... I don't travel by myself. I, I do a lot by myself. I go out to eat, go to the movies, just fall in love with me and what I like. And, you know, just be about me because I feel like I've been about other people and I'm not doing that. So I'm now on me. Just, you know, my daughter's grown. I'm just now, you know, doing me like officially, uh, Unapolog I can't even say his word all the time. I say it so bad. Unapologetically um, pursuing me. So that's what it is. So I just wanted to say that for our little um, motiv motivational Mondays, um, or I want to say level up. Let me say level up because I think I like that better. Everybody say motivational Mondays, and I, I that's cool. But, you know, that'll be my level up message. Um, I just think we should level up. Just level up. You know what I'm saying? Like, get some backbone. Get some self-esteem from I don't know where. You know what I'm saying? I wear sexy lingerie. I have sexy lingerie, and I don't have a man. But that's to, that's to make me happy. And I look at myself with it on. Because I know that I'm, I'm beautiful and I'm gorgeous. I don't need nobody to tell me that. You know what I'm saying? It's not to be cocky or anything like that. It's just to take care of you and encourage yourself. You know what I'm saying? Do the things that you love. The things that make you happy. If you like going to the spa, go to the spa. If you like getting your nails done, go get your nails done. Or, or buy, them in a, buy them like I do for $3.00. Whatever you like, whatever makes you happy, be around people that love you, that celebrate you, that don't tolerate you. You don't want to be around nobody that just tolerates you. You want to be around people that celebrate and love you for you, flaws and all. Um, I drink wine and eat popcorn and watch movies. I do the things that I like to do. It doesn't have anything to do with anybody else. I love to dress nice. I put on my makeup. It has nothing to do with anybody else. It's me that I want to do this for. People always say, oh, she trying to dress out. Uh, uh, uh. No, they just hating because you got a gift of fashion. I always had that. Always had that. Now, if somebody just started doing it, maybe they just found a love for it. You know what I'm saying? But I've been doing this ever since I came out the womb. My parents were great dressers. My mom was a makeup artist. This is me. <laughs> so uh, if somebody said, well, you ain't got to wear this and you ain't got to dress like that. Well, how about don't invite me? Because I'm going to dress how I want to dress. 
even if there's a dress code, I'm still going to put my own stank on it. You understand? I'm going to put my own, you know, judge on it, my own seal of approval. I'm going to, you know, it's just like a recipe when you're cooking food. You may cook it like the recipe, cook it, say cook it, but you'll put your own spin on it. I'm going to always put my own spin on it because that's who I am. Anybody that knows me knows that. That's just what it is. I'm going to do it. And a lot of people be upset with you because you have confidence and they don't. And so they, they get upset. I have my own confidence. I have my own style and my fashion. And I know how I like to look. And that is that has nothing to do with nobody else. Some, even though sometimes they'll make you try to think that it you trying to outdo them when you ain't even thinking about them. It's just something you love to do. Some people just like to look nice. They like clothes. Some people like cars. <laughs> you know, some people like makeup. You know what I'm saying? I like makeup. I like clothes. I like fashion. I like style. That's a part of me. Has always been. Even as a baby, I was dressed very well okay so i just want to say i think i went over like six minutes you guys i'm so sorry but i got carried away but i just want to say be intentional in your life if you want to change your weight you have to incorporate that into your lifestyle it means you might have to get up early a couple hours early to get go to the gym and, and work that thing out for about 30 45 minutes to an hour you know if you want to eat healthy you don't want to have no stomach bulges, then you got this, you know, I tell people all the time, you probably need to lay off that meat, lay off some of that sugar, that dairy, and that bread. You understand what I'm saying? You got to be intentional about what you want. I don't do New Year's resolutions because I incorporate things that I want. I said, what do I want for me? So I incorporate things into my life, working out, eating healthy. I incorporate things into my life that I want for Landis, for me. You understand what I'm saying? Not nothing nobody else done told me or something I saw somebody else do. I don't want to keep going year after year and be like, oh my God, I'm 30 pounds overweight, I'm 50 pounds overweight, I'm 60 pounds overweight, 80 pounds overweight. No, 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 no. If you incorporate working out in your lifestyle, that would not be an issue. I know people that ain't, they be like, oh, her body looks so good. Well, how did you do that? Incorporate working out. That person might have to get up at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, pray, do their morning ritual. After that, go to the gym. And some people like, oh, I want their body, but they don't want to do the work to incorporate what they need. So you have to either say, I want to I wanna get up a couple hours early and sacrifice and get my butt in that gym before I go to work. Some people can do it in the evening. I know I, I that mm -mm. in the evening when I come from work, two things I'm not doing: reading the book, unless it's something I really want to get into. Sometimes I read it and be in the tub, or read it and be in the bed. But reading the book and working out that's 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 got to happen. That's got to happen before I go to work. Cause of me, when after work. All I want to do is make dinner and, and get ready for my next day, and I'm chilling. Especially if it's on a weekday and I got to go to work consistently every day like that. Uh -uh 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 -uh. I, but that's that's me knowing myself. Get to that's what that's a good thing about being intentionally single. You get to know yourself. I know me. I know I ain't gonna be no good. I like to make my phone calls and do meetings and anything I got to do in the morning. Because after 12 o'clock, mm -mm, I'm good. I don't want to call nobody. I don't want to talk to nobody after 12 o'clock unless it's, I just got to do it. But I like to handle my business in the morning. I'm an early morning person. I'm an early riser. I don't care how late I go to bed. I'm, I rise up early. Um, yeah, so let me shorten this video because I'm going, I'm going in on a tangent. It's like now 29 minutes and 18 seconds. Okay, so yeah, I just wanted to say that to you all. Level up, level up. I just dropped some, you know, some pearls to on you. And, um, tell me if it's any topics that you want me to, um, to talk about. Um, and I think it's shout out to Steve. I think the guy name is Steve that... 
that said he wanted me to do more seafood boil boils and I will. I will do more seafood boils. Absolutely. And there was another girl. I got to get her name. I had the names. I I wrote them down, but I'll just, I don't want to say nothing wrong. It was another girl um, that said um, she liked the content. And I thank you for, for saying that you like the content. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, so, yes. Be intentional. Level up. Be intentional about what you want in your life. If you want a man that works, don't go get a man that don't work. If you want a man to take care of you, don't get a man that can't take care of you or he, or he, you know, looks crazy when it's time for the check to come when y'all are going out to eat. If, you know, if he can't handle the bill, you need to get a man that can handle the bill. Be intentional about what you really want. Stop stop dumbing yourself down to accommodate other people and, and their shortcomings. Get what you want. Don't date a man's potential. If you wanna if you want a man that's got a good job and get a man with a good job or a job at all. Do not get a man that does not have a job if you really want a man that's got a job. Duh. Level up. So that's all I got to say. Trend set a gang gang. I've already talked too long, but I thank you. Um, this was an open rant. I just kind of went off the cuff. I didn't plan it, but I just wanted to say I love you guys and see you on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and to um, share this video with anyone and everyone that you know, including your mama. <clears throat> And I will see you guys on the next video. And don't forget, we got to get 100 subscribers so I can do the four-time noodle challenge. I want to do that really soon. So y'all, come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. So level up. See you in the next video.